thank you for coming today. Uh, it's real nice, everyone around noon it just started getting quiet in here. <laughs> you guys, some of you guys must have been trained for that way. And our uh, female veterans, we appreciate that you came here also today. And thank you all for serving our country. Uh, my name is Dwayne Ryder. I'm the public affairs officer for the VA Central Healthcare System. Um, we welcome you here today for this special occasion. Um, for actually, it's we're just receiving a donation, um, but there's no check to hand over, or there's no certificate to receive. But I'm sure you've seen the, the beautiful mural we have here today. Would like to uh, recognize uh, the Mayor of Carroll, Mr. Adam Squeers, if you could please. Brief. I just want to say um, how much we appreciate all of the, the work that you as veterans continue to do after having served the country uh, for many years um, to be able to provide um, support um, to the community through all the different volunteer efforts that you do and uh, to be able to do something like this in the VA clinic. I think that the, the hospital is a tremendous asset for Carol and this VA clinic has been uh, a fantastic thing for our community and for you as veterans and we're just happy to have you here and we appreciate all of your support so thank you very much thank you mayor um and now i'd like to introduce ray bubba Sorensen, who is the artist for the mural okay First of all, I'd like to thank the VA clinic and very understanding staff for uh, putting up with me while painting this. Um, I know I was kind of in the way. Um, I'd also like to thank the Carroll Veterans Memorial Fund and all those who donated because otherwise this, this wouldn't have been possible. And of course, uh, St. Anthony and the staff there, especially Trish Roberts, who was kind of my you know, go-between and, and who helped me out while I was here. And then uh, last but not least, the Neppel family, uh, thank you, and, um, and thank you to all, all veterans and, and all those who have served our country, I appreciate it. Um, hopefully that's uh, visible in what I do for a living and, and what, I, what I go about. Um, I guess I'll, I'll kind of give you a little brief rundown of uh, the inspiration behind the mural. Uh, first of all, when they first contacted me a few years ago when the clinic was just opening, I, they had had an idea for a mural and uh, they invited me up and showed me a completely different wall space and, and uh, so I came up with an idea to do with uh, Merle Hay because I think it's really awesome. Right? You know, he's you know, uh, from this county and buried in this county and it's a neat story. Not a lot of people realize who, who Merle Hay is. They think it's just a road and a mall in Des Moines. So I like to be able to tell that story when I can. Um, but then when that kind of fell through and then funding came through with, uh, with the Carroll Veterans Memorial Fund and uh, they had the idea for uh, Ralph's story, I knew it a little bit because I've looked up all of our Iowa Medal of Honor winners, but I went back and did my homework. And uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Ralph was manning a machine gun. This was a couple days before the Battle of the Bulge and uh, he had a machine gun squad and uh, German German tank and uh, 20 or so infantrymen were closing in on him and his squad and uh, he gets up on the machine gun, waits for him to get a little bit close, starts raking down the infantrymen with the machine gun while well, the, the tank got within 30 yards, fired a high velocity round into the squad, killing a bunch of them, wounding the rest, including uh, Ralph. It blew him about 10 yards away from his machine gun completely cut off one of his legs, injured the other leg. Um, he had the wherewithal to get back to uh, reality, I guess. He crawled back on uh, his elbows, back to his machine gun, set it up, finished raking down the rest of the Germans, and then uh, the enraged tank commander knew he had to retreat with no protection around his tank, and he kind of got out of the tank and sh ended up shooting Ralph in the head, but he was wearing his helmet. And so, um, you know, when the medics arrived and came to uh, assist uh, all the injured, he, you know, he was like, help, help my men first, and um, took off his helmet, and he, he said he was okay, but I don't know how okay you could be missing both your legs, but that's just, uh, you know, that story right there, if that isn't enough inspiration to, uh, you know, paint something like this, I don't know what is, you know, 
uh, great stories like that from um, all our veterans uh, that show uh, selflessness and survival and uh, doing what's right. And uh, that's what I hope this embodies. Um, I used uh, kind of the 50 uh, star flag design behind Ralph. I know he would have received it when it was a 48 star flag, but I felt, you know, why exclude Hawaii and Alaska? Um, you know, we're already, Ralph's already the main part of the mural, and so I thought, let's let's put the 50 star flag back there and say thank you to everybody in all 50 states. And then I love the, the emblems that, uh, you know, then, then again, give a shout out to, again, all who've served. And so that was kind of my thanking behind the mural. Um, Medal of Val or the Medal of Honor is such a uh, high honor, and so I wanted that to be the dominant uh, piece. Uh, to to do something to receive that is incredible. So, um, and the, the fact that Ralph's from Carroll County and uh, and uh, is laid to rest here, uh, I think that that's something special to have here in Carroll. Um, other than that, um, I'll be around a little bit later if you guys want to uh, ask some questions and take some pictures. But thanks for having me. Hope you guys enjoyed your own. Thanks for serving. Um, and now Mr. Grandstra uh, from the Veterans Memorial Fund who made this donation happen. Thank you. I. Uh, I always make it a point when I see a veteran, know he's a veteran, I go up to him and thank him for his service, shake his hand. So I especially want to welcome and thank our active duty soldiers who are with us today and thank all the rest of the veterans too. So. When we uh, were raising the money for the memorial in Veterans Park, uh, we all worked very hard doing it. There's some in this room that have worked and there's others. Just a lot of people were involved with it getting this built. After we had the money accumulated and was about ready to want to start building it, we couldn't find anyone who wanted to lead the charge to get built, myself included. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about constructing uh, anything, as my wife will attest. <laughs> <laughs> but so Mike Bruin. Merlin Bruning, Mike Bruning, Mick was one of his nicknames. Mike was what people normally went by, a World War II veteran. He said, I want to see this memorial built before I die. And he was, at the time, sick. He had a lot of, lot of health problems, health issues. And he picked the brains up, and he went out, and he worked and worked and worked. He talked to contractors, he talked to laborers, he talked to equipment manufacturers, equipment to people and managed to pull everybody together needed, all the material needed, and much of it he got at reduced prices and much of it he got free just through his power of negotiations. And so it was done. Because he was so successful in helping us raise the, the, the money and spending, spending of it, uh, we came out with a pretty good surplus at the end. So we had this money. So when I heard that when Trish told me what the VA was planning for here. I called Don Bernholtz and we pulled together some committee members and discussed it about giving some money for this mural. And that is the reason, part of the reason the mural is here. Uh, but I, I just would hope that when you look at it and you think about it, just remember Mike Bruning as being a very big part of it. Thank you. If you'd stay up front, because you're the donor, uh, right over here, sir. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Timothy McMurray, who is the acting director of VA Central Iowa Healthcare System. Mr. McMurray. My part here is very easy. Um, it's really it's just demonstrating our gratitude. I can't tell you how grateful we are at Central Iowa VA Healthcare System to have this donation. I mean, what an awe-inspiring piece of artwork for the veterans to come in and, and see each time they have an appointment. And it's beautiful work by the artist here. Um, it's going to be inspiring for our staff, and I'm sure that Carol Seabock and staff are very excited about having this here, too. So 
without further ado, I just wanted to say thank you, sir, for, for doing this for, for our veterans and for the Central Iowa VA you. healthcare system. You bet. Thank you. Well, um, I certainly would like to also recognize and thank the uh, family members of Ralph Neville who could attend here today. They're up on the front row. Um, we appreciate what your brother did and your, uh, I forget where the, the family is, what your family member did, um, that he could um, truly serve his country in the way that he did and the lives that he saved when he was doing it. Um, this concludes the ceremony. Uh, I will let you know that some refreshments are down the hall. Uh, we appreciate, once again, for the Veterans <coughs> Memorial Fund. Uh, thank you very much for raising the money and, and having this mural completed. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Sure. Wasn't he also, after World War II, the head of the VA in Iowa? Commissioner? Yes. Possibly. I'm sorry, I don't know yet. No. 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 He worked for the VA. He worked for the VA. Okay. All right. So he even served after he was wounded, uh, and we appreciate that too also. So thank you very much, everyone, for coming today. And please take pictures. And um, yeah, just in case, uh, I will be posting some photographs, what it looked like in the beginning and up until now, uh, on our Facebook page, which is listed on the bottom of your program. So please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget refreshments. 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 Refresh